Okay, so lesson 21. So say the sounds of the following consonants. So these are all the consonants we've done. So we keep them going over them. So start with the Lamed. Sounds uh, sounds e, uh, the mem. The noon sounds as n. Uh, pay sounds as pa. Er uh, sounds as er, uh, that's the rash. Sheen sounds as sh. Aleph is silent, no sound. Samech sounds as s. The hay sounds as ha. Beth sounds as ba. Ganel sounds as ga. Daleth sounds as da. Vav sounds as v. Tav sounds as ta. Yud sounds as ya, and kaf sounds as ka. So they are the Hebrew letters we've learnt. Okay, so the consonant he, which we done in the last lesson, is silent when it's found at the end of a word. So as actual, the, the rule is. Actual Hebrew words that end with the, with the vowel A O E must be closed with a He in the majority of cases. I'll give you an example. So, say you wanted to write the sound Ba. You'd have to close it. So, the rule is Hebrew words that ends with a vowel R, or oh, if we've got an air under it, it's got to be closed with a hit with a hey. So to get a sound bar, it'd be written that way and not that way. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some challenge reading today. So we're not we're not learning another vowel, another another um consonant today, but we're just practicing on the, the hey. So the challenge reading, we're gonna have a go of reading this word. Okay, so Hebrew consonant sound, ha, then you go to the vowel, it's the a, so ha, go to the next one, it's the lamed, there's no vowel underneath, so it's closed, hal, and you can even put a little dash to break the words up into syllables, or you can put the dash, so hal, then you go to the next one, it's the lamed again, l, the vowel with the dot, which is the O sound. Ha, lu. Then you go to the next consonant sound. It's the Yud sound is yap. Vowel sound is a. And it's closed with the with the hey. Ha, lu, ya. Okay, so it wouldn't be left like that. Ha, lu, ya. If it was writing it out, you've got to close. If it's a vowel, if it's the a sound or the air towards the end. You close it with the hat because the hat can be used as a silent letter as well. Okay. So the second word we do it. Okay. So Hebrew letter. It's that mem sounds as m. There's always consonant sound first, then you look for the vowel. So there's not nothing underneath. So the vowel is usually the dot on top. That's the O vowel. Mo. Then there's no vowel under the end, so it's part of that, closed in. So you blend it in. Mon. That's the noon. Then you go to the next Hebrew consonant, which is the tap. The tab. Look at the vowel underneath. It's the air vowel. Then you go to the next Hebrew consonant, which is the, the noon, which sounds as N, N, the A vowel underneath. And that's why the silent H and the end to close it, because there's an, there's an R vowel before the end. Montana.
Okay, so I want you to write the following sounds using the Hebrew using Hebrew letters. So the first one I want you to do. Tamar. Vered. Ora. And root. Okay, so that's how it sounds. So have a go using the letters we've learned so far to, to write to write that we would um, write the Hebrew letters. So we'd start with Tamar. So we need a ta, ta. You can hear the R sound in it. Ta. Go to the next Hebrew sound, which is the Mem. M. You need another R. And the Resh. R. Tamar. The second one, Vered, so we need the Vat. Then you can use the S vowel in it. Ver. So we need the Resh. Air again. And the D at the end, Vered. Ora, we need the silent letter to start, so we use the Ref. Ref. And we can either put the O at the top, or we could use the Vav for the dot. And then we need O, Ra, so we need R, to get the R sound, and we close it with a hat. And then root, R, we need the Resh to start. The U vowel, we've only learned one so far, so it's the vowel with the dot in the centre. And ta at the end, so we do the tab, root. And we've just got a couple of words, Hebrew words, so you can learn. Okay, so we do um, the first one is the Hebrew word for hue, and it is Ignaz Po. So this is the P, it's got the O vowel attached, and the, the clause in it, Po, hue. You, so to say the word you. We use the sheen because it's going to sound as shana. So we need the sh. The R vowel underneath. Sha. N. Shana. And then we've got the word live. And there's two ways to write it there's masculine and feminine. So the masculine sounds as ga. So we need the gamel, ga. Ah, uh, on the rest. This is why if we know if we learn all the letters and learn the sounds, once you all I did when I'm learning to read Hebrew and to remember words, if you know this sound like gar, gar and gara as a feminine, once you know this sound, it makes it easier to write it if you did want to write. And then feminine for live is gara. So if we learn live, feminine is gara. So you know the sound, ga ra. So you know you'd need the ga, which is the gamel. Ah, any of the vowels. Ur, the resh. Ga ra, and we know that's the A. And we can't, obviously, we close it then. Ga ra. And the last one we learn is hat. And hat is suka. Okay, so we we use this. We need a Hebrew letter that sounds as, and we've learned the Samech. So we got the O, so we use one of the U vowels, but we've only learned one so far, so we use this one. So, and then cut, and we need the R again, and close it with a silent H. Sukkah. Right, thanks guys. See you soon.